Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial results you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that'll set you up for success on your farm. Hey, today we're concentrating on nitrogen losses on the farm. And this is a neat little study that we generated to look at different forms of nitrogen loss. Now, at this farm, one of the things that we look at is three different ways we can lose nitrogen each and every growing season. And one, we can have volatilization. And this is what happens when we put nitrogen on top of the ground and it's not incorporated. It will gas off into ammonia and that's that volatilization loss that can occur. There's also leaching and this is where rainwater will move nitrogen lower throughout the soil profile and we can actually lose it through tile, but it's moving it down into the ground. The third form of nitrogen loss is denitrification. And this is where we get saturated soils we lose oxygen and we're gonna lose nitrogen as a result of it. So these are the three major forms of nitrogen loss. And today we're looking at a product called Centuro. This is from Kokag Industries. Now this product does not do anything with volatilization. And I think you guys, when you use a nitrogen stabilizer, you need to know what form of nitrogen loss it's gonna protect you against. And Centuro will not do anything for volatilization. However, it'll, it'll cover some big ones in leaching, and denitrification. So primarily, we want to use Centuro on farms that are typically wet, saturated soils. That's where we want to protect ourselves from the leaching and denitrification. So we're using Centuro and we're applying it through Conceal on the planter and we're adding Centuro as we're applying 32% UAN nitrogen fertilizer. So Centuro is a new product, a relatively new product, and it's an active ingredient called Pronitridine. And this is a nitrification inhibitor. It can be used for liquid UAN, like 28 or 32, but you can actually use this product with anhydrous ammonia as well as a nitrogen stabilizer. It can go both ways. This is probably gonna be a really good year to test this Centuro product because we were really wet. It just seems like we've got multiple planting dates at this farm. And every time we ran a corn planter this spring, we'd get what seemed like heavy rain events a day after we planted. And in this particular trial, we had tons of water shortly after planting. We had a four inch rain event and we had water everywhere. I, I thought for sure this was gonna be a replant situation, but actually we came through, we've got really nice stands of corn, but all along I was wondering due to the flooding we had, are we gonna have enough nitrogen to get through the whole season as a result? So let's take a look at some results. We've been pulling soil nitrate samples throughout the growing season. And let's take a look at where we've got nitrogen, uh, UAN 32% applied through Conceal with and without this Centuro product. Now, without it, we're calling it our control. As of last week, we're finding 15.4 parts per million of nitrate. That's a pretty low sample result. We like this thing to be 25 or better, really, um, showing that we've got enough to finish here. Look what happens when we add Centuro to the conceal, now we're bumping results up near 24, just about where we need to be. So that's a 53.8% improvement in nitrates from using Centuro as we applied UAN through the conceal. Now, we also dribbled it, we just dribbled the nitrogen, the UAN right on top of the ground. Last week we were finding 12.9 parts per million, super low. We add the Centuro in with it and we bump right back up to 23.9, that's an 85.3% improvement. So we're seeing some differences with Centuro this year. Last year, when we used this product, we saw great results from it, from it as well. Let's show you some of the yield and economics from 2019. 2019, we saw some early season um, heavy rains as well. And where we use Centuro, we actually saw some really nice returns. And this was the first year we ever tested it, but we saw 16 bushel um, yield increases in corn in 2019. And if we equate that to economics, we take this times the price of corn less the cost of the product, we actually are coming in at a net profit of $48 to the acre advantage. So this product worked very well for us in 2019. And I wouldn't be surprised based on the soil nitrate results that we just talked about, that we see something very similar to this in 2020. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is if you've got a really wet farm historically using a nitrogen stabilizer, 
uh, to prevent denitrification and leaching could be a really good idea. You know, if you look at the yield results we just talked about today, you know, it ended up that, you know, we're looking at a $48 economic return using Centuro. It was in our top 10 ROI products in 2019, top 10 by just using a nitrogen stabilizer. But again, if you've got a really wet farm, you tend to have saturated soils, this could be a really good product, uh, nitrogen stabilizer to help protect yields. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any questions about anything we talked about regarding nitrogen stabilizers, you can contact any Precision Planting Premier dealer or go to the website at precisionplanting.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. In the meantime, thanks for watching.